The genomes are coming to a clinic near you. Uh, for some of you, it will come this year or next year. For some, it may be five years off. Now, for the first time, we will have sophisticated tools to make a molecular diagnosis in almost all children and therefore to be able to give them precise treatments and to be able to give precise counselling to parents about prognosis and complications. So I think it's going to improve the practice of medicine and be tremendously enriching for the healthcare profession, but also a little bit anxiety generating because it's new, it's different, and it's not something that any of us really know that much about yet. One of our real themes is mainstreaming genomics in rare diseases and some of the adaptations that we're having to make in our healthcare system to manage to deliver that. For example, particularly around delivering results to clinicians who aren't used to receiving genetic results, let alone whole genome results. And another thing that I'm gonna pick up on is our work with our academic researchers and industry, and particularly how they're beginning to work together in ways that they haven't before, and perhaps earlier in the, the process of their research. Clearly Australia has its own unique healthcare system, its own unique demographics uh, and so I believe every country will add to the world's knowledge and that it takes for each country to be sort of bringing along their population and their healthcare system and what makes them specific. It's a tremendous resource we've suddenly got at our fingertips but it's one of these things where I think a Spider-Man quote comes to mind. We, with great power comes great responsibility. And I think as clinicians in clinical genomics, we already probably understand that quite well. A caution in using these technologies needs to be used alongside the enthusiasm with rolling them out.